values have to be chosen intentionally because there are people around they will try to change your values who you are is a reflection of your values your values are developed consciously or unconsciously success is conscious and christian values have to be developed consciously this message will inspire you to develop the right values for a successful Christian life. You can order this message series through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Values at the comment section or message window. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to another edition of Air Power with Kakra Baden. Kakra has been sharing a powerful teaching on the subject of the parable of the sower. Yesterday, he explained that one way the devil steals the word of God from our hearts before we even believe it is through preconceptions. Today, he speaks about prejudice. Come along. I want us to look briefly at one of the parables of Jesus. This is the parable of the sower. A parable means a story with a hidden meaning. Luke chapter 8 verse 5. It says, A sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. Now, the Bible says that, first of all, the word of God itself is a seed. A seed is anything that has the power to multiply itself. Well, Jesus went on to explain, verse 11, he says, the seed is the word of God. Those that fell on the, on the wayside are they that hear. Then come at the devil and take the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and they should be saved. So here the Bible says that one of the things that prevents the word of God from entering into us is that the devil comes and takes the word away. Even before you have the chance to connect it with your faith. Number two, prejudice. Prejudice means to make up your mind, although you know the facts. A preconceived mind, you have made up your mind, you don't know anything, but you have made up your mind. But prejudice, that one, you know everything, everything is clear. They can show you statistics. You can see that you are losing, but you say, I'm in a comfortable lead, although you see everything. That's prejudice. Yesterday, my wife called me about somebody. And she asked me a question. She said, what do you think? A new person that she had just met. And I said, there is a saying. When somebody shows you his character the first time, believe it. <laughs> but when you have a prejudiced mind, you can see the facts that this guy is unreliable. But, you begin to make some excuses, or maybe he will change, or maybe as time is passing, you know, it's his background, the way his father treated him, I'll treat him nice, he'll be changing sometimes. You see, all those <laughs> no. Nothing is going to change. Look, as I say, my brother, my sister, when somebody shows you his character the first time, believe it. Especially women. They see some guy, the guy deceives them one or two, you tell them, look, this guy, he deceives you the first time. The way you have been seeing pictures of other girls on his phone, watch him. He's always all like that, the girls are worrying him. The girls are worrying him. <laughs> when somebody shows you his character the first time, believe it. But the Bible says all those things are done by the devil. Then cometh the devil. So to you, it's just a thought. But wherever there is a voice, there is a person. So 2 Corinthians 10, 4 says, casting down imaginations and every high thing and bringing every thought. So at the end of the day, it, it sounds like an idea. It looks like a thought. It's not a thought. Jesus said is what? It's the devil. Though we walk in the flesh, 
We do not war after the flesh, 2 Corinthians 10, 3. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. A stronghold is a place that is difficult to penetrate. So it says the devil has built strongholds in people's minds. How? Through preconception. How? Through prejudice. That those are the strongholds. So any thought, idea that seems to be higher than God's word is the devil. And bring it into obedience. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. Prejudice. You know that the Bible says forgive. Forgive. When you have carried with your wife, when you go home, your wife will be telling you, oh, but didn't you hear the sermon? He said, that sermon is for the ushers. It's not for us. It's not for us. It's for the ushers. Thanks for joining us. Today, we learned that the devil can influence us with prejudicial thoughts, which hinder the seed of God's word from bringing forth fruits in our lives. Don't miss tomorrow's episode as Kakwa continues this powerful message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Blessed by your daily devotionals. Dear Kakra, I'm so grateful to God for using you to be a very great blessing to us through your devotionals. These messages have transformed my life in so many ways. Thank you and may God keep making his face to shine upon you. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 790 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.